In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to produce the WinGust using MATLAB user defined function. In the MATLAB library, you can find the user defined function here and you can bring it to the workspace. And here you can see that an input terminal and output terminal. So, input terminal I'm here using as a time. So clock I'm using. So based on the time, I'm going to generate uh, the different wind speed, and uh, this is uh, I'm connected to the scope uh, where the scope will display the the variation of wind with the time. And let's open this the user defined function. And here we can see that it is a the function is being declared and uh, uh, t is being considered as an input. And uh, there are many parameters are defined here. The wind gust period is uh, 20 second. Uh, it is in second. And the starting time of the wind gust is uh, the, uh, the 10 second. And the maximum the wind gust speed is uh, 16 meter per second. If the time is uh, below the starting time t uh, 1g, uh, then there won't be any the output. And uh, see, I'm using a, um, a nested uh, if else. And uh, if the time is between uh, uh, t1g and uh, t1g plus tg, then there is a the gust of wind is being uh, generated. So, which is uh, produced using a, a cost function. Here you can see that a function is being declared, uh, which is based on a reference papers. You just check out in the, the comment section and there I uh, will paste the uh, the link of this reference paper. And if the time period goes beyond the T1G plus TG, then there won't be any the wind. Um, so uh, this is all the functions I put into this uh, user defined uh, section and I save it. Then I move back to this. Uh, uh, the sibling model and uh, here you can see that uh, the input is time and the output is uh, the velocity of uh, wind gust and uh, this uh, clock you can get it uh, just type clock here and uh, you can pick that uh, so this is the clock and uh, this uh, time is based on the simulation step size and end time is also defined here you can see this uh, dialog box. Now hit the run button, and you can see that uh, the execution is completed. And hit the scope, and here you can see the wind gust. See at uh, this uh, wind gust start at uh, time 10 second, and it finished by 30 second. See the the variation of the wind speed. Uh, uh, in a uh, the cosine fashion because that is function is defined as a one minus cos something so which you can get it from the reference paper and this is the best way to generate uh, the wind gust using user defined function if you look back to the program here you can see that uh, the uh, if the time is between this uh, the starting time and uh, starting time plus the wind gust period then uh, the probably this could be the, the output of this uh, user defined function uh, which is a function of cause.